Good morning, my friends. This is the first time I'm gonna be baking in my uh, new kitchen and new oven. Uh, I thought I would start uh, with uh, pineapple upside down uh, since cherries are in season and that's uh, part of the pineapple upside down. Um, let's start with the ingredients. Uh, I have here is for the cake, for the base. And this is for the topping, which is uh, the side down, which will become up. I have two eggs, very simple recipe. Two eggs, half a cup of butter that is at room temperature, half a cup of sugar, uh, half a cup of pineapple, fresh pineapple juice. The pineapple shouldn't be sweetened. If you need to uh, use a can, try to uh, find the one that is unsweetened, natural juices. I have one and a half cups of all-purpose flour with one teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda that reacts with the acidity of the pineapple juice and quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Now for the topping, uh, which will be um, the side down in the beginning, in the pan. I have quarter of a cup of butter, which I'm gonna melt with half a cup of brown sugar. Uh, that will be melted. And then we will design the pineapples with the cherries. If you wish, this is optional. You can also add some uh, coconut flakes. It will make it uh, nutty and richer and it reminds me of uh, pina colada yes so that's optional that's up to you let's get started and i'll show you step by step how this recipe is gonna evolve this is a nine inch pan i will be melting the butter and the brown sugar in it melt the butter low heat as soon as the butter is melted add the sugar mix turn off the heat spread this mixture uh, evenly as much as possible. And now um, put the pineapples. I start in the middle. I'll put this and then go around. And in a nine inch pan, those uh, slices, they just perfectly fit. And if you decided to use uh, coconut flakes, just put them in the other spaces that don't have cherries or pineapple. And if you have it on top of the pineapple, it's okay from this side because this is gonna be upside down and the side that is at the bottom is not gonna have anything to disturb the uh, look of the pineapple. Okay, this should be sufficient. Now we're gonna get going and do the cake. Let's start with the batter. I will add the room temperature butter with the sugar when the butter and sugar come together we'll crack the eggs
After you mix really well, we will add the flour and the leveling ingredients. Mix it a little bit. And as you notice, I, I don't have any vanilla or uh, any other flavoring because I want the pineapple to uh, shine in this recipe. So I'll put half of it and on low. Half the flour and half of the pineapple in and now the other half and I will be pouring the pineapple as I'm going. This is the batter of the cake which we will be pouring over the pineapples. Let's pour the batter over the pineapples. That's my oven telling me that it's at temperature 350 degrees. So I can bake my cake. And as you saw, I haven't prepared the pan with any butter or anything since we melted the butter in it and it prepares itself, I guess. Just spread this evenly. Now let's put the cake in the oven. About half an hour. Now we have arrived to the moment of truth. Uh, the cake, it took 35 minutes, not half an hour, in 350 degree preheated oven. Uh, let's cut it and see. It uh, feels moist and wonderful, Oop. it's soft too. Mm. Delicious. Um, the pineapple is shining in it. It's not too sweet. It's um, wonderful. It's good for breakfast too. Mmm. Try it and let me know what you think. Enjoy.